Even though you were born in England, would you go back to India as a family every yes, year? Yes, we'd go back. So my mum was English and my dad was Indian and had a large sort of family um, based in Mumbai. Uh-huh. And so we'd go back there and they were, they were a very well-to-do um, family, like all sort of doctors and managing directors of companies mm-hmm. and stuff. So um, it was a very one-sided view of India that I was seeing as a, as a child. I think as I grew up, I realized there was different aspects than having a chauffeur and servants How <laughs> to that country. So it was yeah. quite, um, it was, it was definitely, I mean, you saw India for what it was and seeing it from a child's eyes was from that innocent perspective. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess the magic of it was much more, um, I don't know. I guess it just influences you on a subconscious level when you see all those colours and mm. all and the diversity and how different it was to the place that I was growing up, which was um, sort of grim northern England. <laughs> and cold. And very cold, yes. <laughs> yeah. So each yeah. time you'd go to India, how long would you stay? Um, probably, well, anywhere between four and um four weeks probably like mm. whenever my dad got holidays probably um it's time doesn't really mean anything when you're a child right um as I grew older I think the last time I went was about was too long ago it was about 20 years ago and I spent about nine weeks there mm-hmm. and then I'm going again in about um 11 days so I'm really excited about that oh we were just we were just talking about that do you speak do you speak Hindi Unfortunately, no. My father, um, being a man trying to introduce himself to the West, he basically let go of his um, um, heritage and didn't teach either me or my brother to speak any of the ten languages that he spoke. So, wow, a real shame there. But anyway, that's the generation. Um, mm. I and guess the most important thing was to assimilate at that point. And so. That that constant travel that you had injected into your life as a youngster, um, it's quite interesting because you talked about how you were influenced by the colours of India and the and the culture, but you're also for people that don't know you, you're an avid traveller. Yes, I am. Yeah, I mean, adventure seeking, free spirit. Do you think yeah, that yeah. period in your life influenced your predisposition to to travel so easily, like you do? Um, yes, that and my father's sense of adventure as well. Like I was never afraid to travel. And I mm. think at the age of 16 was the last, the first time I went to India without my parents or maybe, no, you know, 17, sorry. I was 17. Mm-hmm. I went to India without my parents, much to their shock and horror. They were like, why do you want to go there? And I was doing a, a paper on textile design. And I was doing sort of focusing on the Indian chintz and sort of the whole um, the colours and the textures and the patterns of Indian chintz and how they transformed textile design in the UK. Um, so I went to look at some of the museums in Mumbai, but it was kind of a crazy trip. Like it was very different being there without my parents. Well, you were seventeen, so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 